Okay, so this question, we're looking at rounding numbers, but we're going to round it to decimal places. So this is quite a long decimal from a calculation, perhaps. And we want to, to shorten it to make our life easier, but we don't want to lose too much accuracy. So let's have a quick look at how this works. I want to round it to one decimal place. So that's our first decimal place, the 7. Then the 5 is the next number after the decimal point. So this is the first, this is the second, this is the third, this is the fourth decimal place, and then so on. Fifth decimal, sixth decimal, seventh decimal, eighth decimal place. I want to round this to one decimal place. So I want to, I want to cut off um, this line number and I want to have the dividing line there that's what I want to do so I want to cut it off there so I want to have all of this just have 2.7 and I have to check just the number afterwards I can knock off the 241302 I just want to check out this and we should know a rule we should know a rule for rounding and we should know that it's um, 5 or above rounds up and below 5 keeps it the same. So this number to one decimal place, so or we can say 1 dp for short, is, well, we get 2.7 and we just check this. This 5 is actually 5 above, so it actually changes this 7 up to a, an 8. So my answer would be 2.8 to one decimal place. Imagine I didn't want to do to one decimal place. Imagine I want to do to two decimal places. That means I would want two numbers after my decimal point. I don't want I want, definitely want the two. I want to get the seven and the five. So I check the number afterwards. So in this case the digit two. And I think to myself, well to two decimal places, the two does what? Two does nothing. It's below five, so it keeps it the same. So this becomes two point seven five. And then, if I wanted to go to three decimal places, I need 752 in this case. I check the four, that's below five, and so that one, three decimal places, is going to stay 2.752. Okay, so why don't you pause the video now? Why don't you pause the video and why don't you have a go at these questions? So pause it, give yourself a scrap of paper or in your math book, have a go at these questions and put the answers in. So these numbers to the nearest whole number, to the nearest decimal place, and two decimal places. So let's start the first one and you can do the others. Nearest whole number 63.4, so 63. One decimal place means I want the four, so I check seven. And that moves it up, doesn't it? So it becomes 63.5. And then to two decimal places, I want the 4 and the 7. So it'll be 63.0. Oh, let's just check. Oh, 2 does nothing to 7. So 4, 7. So go ahead and pause the video. See if you can fill in these other gaps. No, really pause it. Okay. Now, what you want to do if you play it again. If you compare your answers, and these are the answers you should have got. We should have got that's the ones we got, right? And then there's all these other answers. So you can pause it again, have a check, see which ones you got correct and which ones you didn't. And then I think we're ready to go ahead and try this one. So these ones are all to one decimal place. So in this case, I want to keep the eight. I check the number seven, and that's five or bigger. So it's 4.9, it changes to. Same thing for me, let's look at this one. I want to keep the norm, I have to check the 4. 8.4 does nothing, keeps it the same. 8.0, you have to put the point zero there because we want one decimal place in our answer. So we want one number after the point. Let's go for part C, one decimal place. So I have to check the 6 in this case. 6 is 5 or more, 
So that actually makes that part of 12.4. And in this one, I want to keep the 5. I have to check the 0. So 0 does nothing to the 5, so it stays at 3.5. Okay, lovely.